Good afternoon guys, so it is Saturday, uh, I didn't go to a car route sort this morning, um, while well, lying, so, uh, also it rained last night, so I figured there wasn't going to be that much there anyway, so, um, but I did get in touch with my camera guy, the person who gave me all of the cameras over there, um, and we met up and I got some more stuff from him, I spent £150, uh, I think it works out just over six pound an item. We say six fifty an item. I bet it worked out because it was one hundred and fifty in total. Uh, I'll flip you around, show you what I got. Uh, what I'm hoping to get for it if it's all working. So yeah. So this is what we got. So some more cameras. I think ten cameras and then some headphones, some keyboards, and some other little bits. So just dive straight in. These are uh, ASUS Zonar U3 pocket size incredible sounds. I think they're um. USB sound cards, basically. Um, got three of them. Um, Pre-owned. One right there, 39.24 bidding. And then I think people are asking quite a bit more for it. So, yeah, open never news, 49.99 people are asking for there. So, 86. Um, so, I don't know, probably try the 40 or 50 pound mark each for them. So I think pretty much straight away that's that's gonna be pretty much my money back here. Um, these little bits are just little bits I throw in, like you know, chargers and a few batteries and stuff. I don't know if any of them are gonna be any good, but um, yeah, uh, well batteries. I don't know if batteries could be any good, but I'm happy I got that. It's a Sennheiser headphone adapter, so I think that's probably worth a little bit. I haven't looked that one up. So yeah, these are just like little add-ons. Um, up here we got the Fujifilm A170. Um, a bit all over the place really, this one. Um, 21, 15, it depends, sort of. I got mine boxed, so I went for 25, so probably aim for 25, 30. Uh, next up we have the Shure uh, SRH750 DJ headphones. Right here. Uh, it comes with everything here, I think, and it all looks pretty, pretty good. Whether it's new or not, I'm going to have to have a closer look and really look into it. But they are looking pretty, pretty nice. So, we'll go on the assumption that they're second hand. And like I said, it works out about £6 an item on this stuff. Um, paid up a little bit more on some of it, so... Uh, that one went bidding 37 pre-owned, so probably around the £40 mark plus shipping. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. I reckon that should be should be easily achievable. Um, so yeah, uh, next up we have some keyboards. This is the Pen Click Mini Keyboard K2. Um, that one went for £14.97, but I'm pretty sure I can get a lot more for that than that for it. Um, because of the the KB3, the other one, is worth a lot more. So I'm going to have to do I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research into that. But we'll just say for argument's sake, like £30 for that one. Um, the Ken Click, the Pen Click Mini Keyboard KB3, however, I'm pretty sure it's new. I've got two of them. Um, English layouts, which is nice, QWERTY and everything. Um... Open never use is 80 there. Each. Um, if I go on what's for sale. You know, £100, 75 So, I don't know. That's the US layout, which we don't want. Um, so, yeah. Probably try 80 to 100 each on them if they're brand new. I've got to check them all out. Uh, Sennheiser. Ah, yeah. Sennheisers. So, I've got two of these. Should have had this prepared. Now, on one pair, the cups are gone. On the other pair, it's all looking pretty, pretty fresh. So, I think they're both the same models. PXC350, PXC350. So, they're both the same models. Now, um, obviously, I'm probably going to get new cups or something for... I want a cushion bump, but yeah, um, I'm not really sure. This again is a bit all over the place for for them, but I reckon like the twenty thirty pound mark, 
sort of thing each for them. This shouldn't be too hard. Um, I'm going to have to, like I said, I'm going to have to get some cups for them because they are screwed. They're gone. But, yeah. Uh, next up we have the Gold Ring Transition NS1000s. I don't know if they're new. They look new. I think they're new, but I don't know if they're new, you know. So we'll assume second hand. Um, so 35, around 35 pound mark right now for if they're pre-owned. Um, obviously a lot more if, if they're new. Um, these TDKs, they looked really good because they got like leather and I think it's real leather. Feels it. Um, and they're quite a nice, nice headphone. There's some damage to them. But I can't find them because I, there's no like model number or anything on them. And I'm looking and I can't find a blue model number. So it's going to take a little bit more research on them to find them out. Uh, next up, we got some gold ring DR50s. These look lovely as well. These look pretty much brand new as well. They're not, but they look it. I can't actually find them as, as well. They're open back headphones. Um, I can't find them on here, so I'm going to have to do a bit more research into them. I, I really don't don't know. Um, probably around the 40 to £50 pound mark. We'll see. Uh, next up, I was actually shocked at these. Pioneer DJ headphones. And these are lovely. Absolutely lovely headphones. So I've got to test them all out and do all them. Um... A pair sold for 75 pre-owned um, but they are up for a hell of a lot more than that uh, 132 so I don't really know do they require I don't, I'm not really 100% sure. I'm going to have to check them out and everything and, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, that's all I've looked up for now because all of these others are going to need testing. I've got one here which I got for free, which was a bit corroded. He's buggered up. Luckily, all of these others are, um, I don't like that one's got batteries in either. Uh, they're all mostly battery ones, which is bloody lovely. So I think all of these are battery ones, and these ones have got their, except for this one, I think. Oh no, it's got battery in as well. So I'm going to have to test them all, but I think that's one of the expensive ones with the uh, front screen. So we'll check that one out. Uh, I haven't got prices for them, but we're averaging about £30 a camera. So, um, yeah, 10 cameras, £300. Actually, we'll say nine cameras, £270, because we'll take that one out, because I pretty much guarantee if it's got blooming corrosion coming out the top there, it's probably not going to work. Um, so, yeah, not too bad. £150 is, is not bad. I'm, I'm not upset by it. I have to go through and test it all, obviously. Um, and, uh, sorry, I woke up the nose. Hay fever's hitting me. So, yeah, I have to go through and test them all and check them all out and everything, but it shouldn't take me too long with this lot. And then what I would do is I will, um, I think they're going to call me back. I think they're going to call me back. Oh, sorry. They said they were going to call me back with the next lot of stuff. So that's the stuff they've sorted out so far. Uh, there was a load of stuff there, loads of camera bags and uh, third party crap, um, like third party battery chargers, like universal ones and stuff. Stuff I didn't want, stuff I didn't need. Um, so I only took what was good and yeah we did a deal on that so uh next up the next lot of stuff i will be um yeah i'll be going back around probably a month's time again and uh yeah having a look at the next lot of stuff so hopefully this is a contact for a little bit because they do have some good stuff and they they accept you know reasonable prices so yeah um yeah, that's it. I will be at the car boot sale in the morning, weather you know, permitting. So yeah, I'll be at the car boot sale first thing tomorrow, and then I might even hit two tomorrow morning, and then I'll do one in uh, Marksbury in the afternoon. So 
yeah, hopefully we can uh, get it all good. Um, yeah, but like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.